All right, guys, so it's not really a live stream. It's more of a recording today, uh, simply so that I can um, get the get the recording done and actually do something today. I'm um, having some internet issues, but uh, we're just gonna get past that. So for now, we're just gonna continue on with the drawing here, um, kind of picking up where we left off. Just kind of drawing Bahamut and making sure we're capturing all the details that we can. Um, we're gonna keep our not smooth brush, or not brush, but pen tool. Kind of get too much into the details too hard, but I am gonna do more detail than usual than what I was kind of really anticipating, just so that I can make sure I get uh, the full concept of what I'm drawing down. And actually, Something like that, and then, of course, and then something along those lines. Just show on the teeth, something real quick. try to connect these lines a little bit more than usual because again that's kind of the goal here and then if we're seeing more of the inside of the mouth we want to make sure that we actually draw all the inside kind of like that and we'll draw all the teeth assists. Let's turn off the bottom drawing. I think that looks cool, right? Definitely get that real nice, good close up. And then here we're gonna draw more of the neck. This is him actually kind of moving forward. Uh, let me make sure I'm seeing this right. Yeah, so that's the neck right there. And so the spike horn thing is right there. But we want what we want to do is kind of show how the horn is coming out right here. Kind of like that. And this is more the neck here still. And of course, we've got to take this drawing, pull it forward a little bit, save, constantly saving. Um, so here's the neck. And these lines here, I'm actually gonna make them more kind of like a, a angle. Kind of like that. Let's go back and put more angles into this right here. And I keep forgetting though to move this, move that line forward just like that there. But that's fine, because now we're gonna get into this next part. I think this is more the Let's turn off the foreground so we can actually see what's going on here. Oh, that's not the foreground, is it? So that's fire, and that's the neck. Oh, the neck is coiling back, right? So let's go back to our drawing here. Let's go to the third frame. And we're gonna kind of draw it exactly the way it is, but um, we're just gonna express like how the neck is coiling back, basically. Kinda like that. And then, of course, now it's the horn. The 
it's a lot going on and sometimes it gets really hard to understand what you're looking at but you just got to kind of keep the vision in mind as you're drawing this get back to the drawing here now this is where it's gonna get a little cooler because now we get to actually draw some of these um details in a little bit this is his mouth And this whole thing is not just the bottom of his neck because the bottom we're gonna we're gonna do like this actually you know what I might do I might go ahead and throw another aesthetic into this whole thing because after actually seeing his neck he's got a few more like spike things going on we can always go back and add these kind of details in let's go back up here I'm just going to go ahead and draw draw this in here even though it's not necessary one two three one two again not even seeing all this but that's fine um, and then let's draw the mouth being open up here and it's, it's, it's going to get a little funky because we're not actually seeing all of his, his face. What we're doing right here is just drawing like the opening from such a weird third angle, three quarter angle, I should say. And this is a, a really quick, um, It's a really quick uh, frame anyway. And let's draw the shoulders in like that. then we're gonna come over here so this is actually the first drawing I did um, when I started doing this whole project because it's just one of the coolest shots um, I always find if you go ahead and draw what you want to draw right up front maybe even if it's the really cool money shot then sometimes that kind of motivates you to want to keep doing the rest of it that and then let's get the other side of the mouth right here Let's get the neck. Just put the details in there like that. And let's get the shoulders back in there again too. Maybe even a little bit of a, an arm or something like an arm. Now let's get these horns. like 
that. And then I might, what I might do is add another frame in here before this. But let's go ahead and draw this one in here too. that there but then right here I'm gonna do something a little different I'm gonna kind of merge these in a little bit where it's like I'm gonna see kind of like the snout a little bit closer No, I don't think that's right. That's not right. Kind of like a, a close-up. You know what? Let's do that. Sometimes you just got to keep it simple. Let's just grab this whole thing. Bring it up close. Probably turn it a little bit. No, what we need... So something like this, right? It needs to be a combination of the two drawings. So kind of like this scene right here. Along with this scene. Right here. But it's gonna have more horns. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. Kind of like that. that there I think that's good I think that is getting the point across of what we're trying to do I'm not too satisfied with these horns though it needs to be a, a little bit more in the face kind of like this here it's like you're constantly battling with perspective in all these scenes Now let's go to the next part. So this is where we actually get the full on close up of his face. This is this is Bahamut, right? Just something kind of like this. I want it a little bit more snout heavy. Like 
that there. Like that. Probably need to have the neck A little bit more so we'll put some a little bit more flavor out on this thing here right I don't want the neck to be so like fat like overpowering let's go and turn the camera off You know, you know, something else to keep in mind about this whole thing is like we could make this look really beautiful and make it all, you know, pristine, clean drawn and all that kind of stuff. But I think when you do that, you, you lose a little bit of fun. I mean, I know I do. I don't have as much fun trying to make it so perfect. So that's why I kind of. like to just do what we're doing right here just make it make it interesting without having to overthink it this horn is probably way off again try not to overthink it but we do want it to kind of be on character you know actually Let's just erase this. Let's just grab this one. Copy, paste. Kind of turn it a little bit because it's at an angle. Then, so we'll move that down a little bit. We're gonna kind of take this and just, we're gonna move the head just a little bit at a time, just so that we can um, show a little bit of a movement, like he's breathing. Kind of like that there. Oh. What is that? Oh. Kind of like this. Yeah, like that. And then we're going to take the, the bottom mouth. Open it up just a little bit. And then with that being said, we're gonna just fill in the, the gap of just a little bit of his mouth. Kinda like that. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna put just a few more spikes on the back of his head. I just don't like him look so bald. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna do this for a little bit. Something I'm gonna do before we go too, too far is I need to make sure all my lines are closed up because I am gonna color this. My whole goal in doing all this all over again is to color it. So I'll erase some of these lines on the in between inside as well. Because this is actually a frame that's going to be seen over and over again. We're really going to hyper focus on this. So it's got to be, it's got to look some kind of nice. We'll try not to fester on it too long. Excuse me, same here. Make sure everything is clean on the inside of these lines. This is the horn here. Okay, did that. So I'm gonna make sure I close this up right here. This line is not as important because it's gonna be the same uh, color as the rest of the body, but we're still gonna just tighten it up. See, like, like that. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. Let me make sure I didn't have any other. See, like this here it needs to be closed up. All these teeth. this let's see here that's a weird line to put right there mm. oh yeah all of this right here right I almost didn't even see it. It's so messy and we're not really focusing on being super clean and that just kind of disrupts the whole thing, right? And that is a horn, so we'll do that. Kind of like that there. I think that's ultimately fine uh, let's do this little horn here I think everything in this is ultimately f oh whoop, this horn here that a 
close up all these little holes here. See, if I were if I were being more uh, disciplined and cautious about this whole thing, then I would have done this properly. So we wouldn't be going back and doing all this. Do it properly the first time. That's my advice. that goes right there not sure why I had all those lines in there like that that's fine we fixed it it's a lot of stuff I just did teeth here I think I did this one the other day actually This is where it gets a little tedious. You gotta do some of this. You have to do some work to this thing. Just make sure these teeth are closed up. Again, these, these frames are going to go by so quickly. Okay, make sure we save and let's get all the way back. Oh, let me make sure. Okay, now let's get into this next drawing. Ah, so this is where it gets a little bit, a little bit more interesting. So let's, let's just copy this here. Let's go to this frame. Let's just move him down. Cause I, I don't think it's necessary to redraw the entire thing. And it's full entirety. So actually, let's let's not even do that. Let's take these two right here, and we're gonna make new drawings, draw uh, paste, new pastings of this, and we're just gonna move these two down, kind of like that. Boom. Move this down over here, right next to it, in the same area. Let's isolate. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna get rid of this line. I'm gonna get rid of some of these lines that are visible when they shouldn't be. Kind of like that. And then we're gonna close them up after the fact here in a second. Good, good, good. that perfect almost perfect what is that line doing right there it's being a little being stubborn I missed that one 
the reason why we're doing that, the reason why we're doing this is because instead of copying it or trying to redraw this whole thing all over again, we're going to draw this spike. Um, how how is this done? Oh, uh, that was fire, right? So it's three frames. One, two, three. So it's one, two, three. And then the fourth one showing that it's, it's in place. Okay. Yeah, that's doable. That's definitely doable. So let's do. We're just drawing the, the, the back spike thing. One, all, right, all I did was copy it. I'm going to redraw it. I'm just going to copy the drawings and I'm going to put them in the place of where they're going to correspond with the spike drawing. And then we're going to do the same over here. We're going to flip it, but that's not necessary right now. So now we've got the first spike drawn. Just making this easier on ourselves, right? Kind of like that. Oh. Let's make sure we fill this in. Then it's gonna kind of converge down a little bit. And then this one, it's gonna be fully. Spiked up. like that perfect so now what we got to do to save um, we're gonna just get the drawing by itself now we're gonna erase all these lines in between in the middle because all we want to really see is the color of the spike on the back this as it overlaps the other drawing the big goal right now is just to make sure anything under it is not seen you know that's, that's something I think about often is like drawing right like like just enjoying drawing and you know how how's I remember as a kid drawing like Spider-Man pictures and Dragon Ball Z pictures and stuff and um and then coming up in high school and middle school and so I would say high school just really coming into my own of learning all the ins and outs and all the rights and wrongs of, of drawing and stuff. Um, it's pretty cool coming back and seeing that now. It's like, man, we've come a long way with, um, with drawing in general. We've come a long way with 
with uh, all the fundamentals and all the techniques, all the things that save you time, the special effects. It's pretty neat. It's like seeing growth. Right. So what I did is I flipped all of it and I copied it and now I'm coming back and I put everything back its normal way and now I'm going to paste the new drawings that I copied. Ooh, I pasted them but uh, I guess I didn't quite do that right. That's fine. So I pasted the drawings. Now I just got to do this go back and flip them. What I'm going to do here now, after the fact, is draw the wings. And this is just to help solidify the fact that wings are flapping. Not really needing a lot of detail here. Just enough to kind of get our point across. And then what I'm gonna do is just copy every other drawing, kind of how we did with the uh, the main body. Let's put it on every other frame. Because it will change in every other one. So I probably did this a little too too early. this all right that there now we can go back and erase all the stuff on the insides do that not doing that one make sure these are closed up gotta make sure all these lines are closed up See, even this one too. Mm-hmm. that and you know what let's just make sure we put a line right here just to make sure we get everything cool 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 save 
copy, paste, new drawing, boom. And then we'll flip all of these. And that should take care of all of them. Right, and then we get to the next drawing. And that's when we actually see Bahamut straight up. We'll probably spend about another 10 more minutes, probably 15 more minutes uh, finishing this drawing. And then um, we'll call it on this one. This is where it's gonna get very interesting. Probably need to go to this drawing here and create that close up before we actually get to these smaller. Um, before we get to the smaller drawing, it's probably best to just go ahead and create the close up just right off that here. And then we can shrink it down to be the smaller drawing as we need it. that make sure I'm just gonna I'm not gonna flip it or anything I'm just gonna go ahead and draw it straight out because uh, I think we have enough to, to do what we're trying to do let's take a look and see how it looks okay menacing it's not quite the Bahamut look I was going for but I think it'll still get the job done though course let's get the horns the horns I am gonna redraw I am gonna copy because I don't want to change it up too much where I don't recognize it save stay saving because this these programs will drop your stuff and you'll be left without. Yep, and let's get the body. arms in here oh so the neck 
it's going to kind of come around. I'm not gonna really put a whole lot of emphasis on the arm. Let me turn this off. I think I'm just gonna draw my own arm in this in this case. Because you're not gonna see the arm anyway. So I don't I don't really feel the need to put a lot of emphasis into it. Um and, and you know what? I think I might copy the arm too. Save. Kind of like that. So I can see already the difference. I didn't I didn't come all the way out with the neck enough over here. Cool. Cool cool cool. I think that looks pretty neat compared to uh, the original drawing. Still gonna finish it up here. like that and then I'm actually gonna <laughs> I said I was gonna copy this stuff but I, I end up doing it anyway right then kind of like that Copy these, ah man, messed up. I'm gonna copy these spikes. Flip it. Bring it down over here. And then I knew that something was off down here. Connected. All right, cool. And but so with this, I know there's a second drawing that I wanted to do with it. Honestly, I think it may just be. Yeah, it's really just a rehash drawing. It's not really even a lot to it. Um, and I may do three of them because three has always been the um, it's a it's the magic number to kind of make it um, look alive without having to constantly redraw over and over and over and over. And for this, the lines don't have to line up exactly. As long as they're in the same general area. We'll finish this one and then we'll come back and do the rest in another video. So this is that, that tracing technique again. Again, I'm a big advocate for tracing. I don't think it's a bad thing, especially if you're, I mean, if it is your own work, I mean, who cares if you're tracing or not? I think the ultimate goal to art is not how good you can draw things from memory, from scratch or whatever. It's really more about how creative you are in outputting something 
that people will enjoy looking at. Whether it's collages, or it's uh, graphic design, or, you know, I never found like editorial design very interesting, um, print design, um, even being a graphic designer. It's just never been interesting because it's it's too organized. Um, photography can be like that too, but photography at least it um, you you capture art in its natural form of um, in the imagery, and you can capture it in a way that makes it look interesting. That's what I enjoy about photography. I don't really, even still, it's not my favorite medium. But you can make it look good. There's a there's a bunch of pictures in print media that look good, and it's like, oh man, that's a that's a photo. Let's take a look and see how it looks. See, it's got a, it's got a living skin kind of thing going on, and theoretically, you would do one more, and then you would have all this on the end, and then you would do one more drawing. But um, we're gonna call it for a day for right now on that, and um, we'll we'll work on the next part of this, and we'll probably clean up this. We'll come back and do some of these um, middle drawings um, of Bahamut. It'll be a, a lot tighter. It'll be a lot more interesting than than this garbage. Um, the, the the simple line drawings. We'll clean it up, make it real tight, and um, I really want to capture this money shot right here. I think this is what people look at the animation and like, whoa. The wing bats, the the batting of the wings or whatever, um, that's the money shot. Boom. Yeah, for sure. All right, we'll call it a day and uh, we'll start up again later.